Today is like New Year's Day for football fans. Last year's behind you and it's time for reflection. Free agency starts today and you see all these shiny big names floating out there. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's more like buyer beware. Now, here's what I mean. It's a quarterback driven league and you say your team needs a new signal caller. Now it's time to scoop one up, right? Wrong. Let's look at the last five years. 49 veteran quarterbacks have changed teams either in the offseason or during the season. Only three of them have started all 16 games in their first season and just eight of the 49 recorded a winning record in that first season. OK, so now let's look at teams as a whole. The franchises who weren't afraid to open up their wallets. The Jaguars have spent the most guaranteed money in free agency signing since 2011, but have the worst record in the NFL over that span. Last offseason, the Eagles, Saints, Giants, Broncos and Jags spent the most money and New York was the only team to make the playoffs. Free agent spending does not equal success point blank. It's time to take a page out of the Patriots playbook again. The time to really build your roster is through the draft. Do you know what NFL team had the most drafted players on their roster last year? Yep, that'd be New England with 31. And what did they do? Oh yeah, won another Super Bowl. The Pats are followed by the Packers, Ravens and Seahawks, all who more times than not are playing in January. So if you want to win, put your focus into draft week. And I'm not just talking Thursday night's first round. I mean all the way through the final round on Saturday. That's where you get those hidden gems and most importantly, the wins. I'm Max Kellerman. Thanks for stopping by. Before you go, hit the button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a moment of me taking down Stephen A. Smith.